from the earliest edges of recorded time, people had sought to make more of their lives than satisfying the everyday necessities of food and drink, clothing and shelter. The universal desire for something beautiful, something ordered and in good taste, is expressed in architecture, the arts, sports, the varying patterns of hospitality. In these designs for living, there are impressive parallels everywhere in this truly wonderful world. It's a hit for sure, and how the fans do love it. The rolling countryside of New England, with its rugged seacoast towns, reminds us of the old worlds from whence our forebears came. that traverse the seven seas still haunt our dreams of adventure. Our forebears, in dedication to the enlivening spirit of man, erected Harvard in the early years of their settlement upon this continent. A monument to the universal ideal of education as a uniting force for people everywhere. People everywhere, of course, follow parallel pursuits of happiness. In Canada, the crown of hospitality is afforded Chateau Frontenac in Quebec. The constant quest of humanity is symbolized in the Peace Tower in Ottawa. Wherever we go, the old and the new join in special significance for the present. Parliament in Canada and Parliament in Great Britain stand out as sentinels to an ever-flowering tradition of freedom everywhere. Westminster Abbey in London bespeaks a majesty echoed in the exciting parade of the guards at Buckingham Palace. The friendly inns of England the public houses with signs of hospitality, calling up the good cheer and the great bounty of common fellowship, bespeak good times galore. Signs of hospitality, yes indeed. And it was in the inn yards of England that the stage of Shakespeare had its beginnings. Romeo, Romeo, Wherefore art thou, Romeo? Shakespeare, immortal Shakespeare, as filled with meaning for today as ever in the past. His plays are still the thing in Stratford, his home place. In the cloistered quiet that is Oxford, there is symbolized the universal idea of the oneness of mankind. 
people everywhere are certainly one in the love of sports. In England, it's horse racing, with the added delight of a day in the country. There's more gentle pleasure in a boat trip on the Seine. Did you know that the original Statue of Liberty stands within sight of the Eiffel Tower? The architectural magnificence of Notre Dame bespeaks majesty from any angle. The Champs-Élysées bubbles with excitement in every sidewalk cafe. Good living and the joy of life. They are as much monuments to French culture as the Arc de Triomphe. Gaîté Parisienne is decidedly more than operetta. It is the spirit of this city of light, the French spirit. Ah, monsieur, you there in that elegant restaurant. What is the piece de résistance? Ah, mm, something delectable to be sure. Something French. Something ultimate in cuisine. The French spirit reverberates from the cobblestone pavements of Montmartre to the restful gardens of the Louvre. The Louvre, with its celebrated art treasures, is the dream of every painter in France. The beloved and beautiful countryside reflected again and again in the French masters. But every boy in France dreams of the Tour de France. Every town and village turns out en masse to cheer the cyclists whizzing by. In Europe, they live in easy harmony with the old and the new. Whether it is the magnificent houses of the guilds rising in medieval splendor in the Grand Place of Brussels in Belgium, the quiet canals of Amsterdam in the Netherlands, or the busy downtown streets, the 20th century rubbed shoulders with the pleasant past. The town hall of Stockholm in Sweden looks across the water at modern structures, crisp and clean in line as sailing craft. Every youngster in Sweden dreams of voyaging the seven seas. Hospitality Swedish style is the smorgasbord. Come and get it entertaining. Help yourself to something of everything. And then come back for more of everything. This is the life. Good living is round the world and universal. elsewhere in Europe, modern structures are rising in modern devotion to freedom of form. In Germany, as elsewhere in Europe, soccer, the football in Europe, is a favorite sport. Indeed, and fans will be fans wherever you find them. The Rhine Valley spells the enchantment of song and story. Legends at every turn of the river. Castles, it seems, on every mountaintop. 
the echoing past hovers over memorable Heidelberg and the Heidelberg Lion, symbol of the university. The spirit of youth universal in the ageless pursuit of learning, and not always too serious, especially between classes. Gemütlichkeit is the German word for the good life. Gemütlichkeit. The country tunes and the country dances abound with it. The conviviality, the exuberance, the transcending goodwill of just plain folks. The rhythms change from place to place but the spirit is everywhere the same. They swing their partners, even as the fabulous town clock in Munich. Or do you prefer a bit of medieval tournament? In Vienna, the opera is the musical hub of the city. The great masters are always with you, and the world waltzes because of Johann Strauss. festival here, festival of the spirit for all the world, and boy meets girl in Austria as anywhere else. Dreams of the Alps, perhaps, the Swiss Alps, where even in the hottest summer weather the snow encrusts the lofty mountain ranges. <laughs> are of tomorrow, always tomorrow. And in Italy, a favorite dream is rendering an operatic aria in famed La Scala in Milan, or sightseeing along the Grand Canal in Venice. St. Mark's Square is alive with pigeons at feeding time. Every tourist, of course, investigates the romance of a ride in a gondola. Florence is a highlight of any visit, whether strolling along the Ponte Vecchio, the Bridge of Shops, or seeking out the treasures of the art world, the masterpieces of centuries past. Florence, like the eternal city that is Rome, where the ecclesiastical splendor of the Renaissance completely enthralls the imagination. The dome of St. Peter's rises upwards like a heavenly choir. From the topmost pinnacle, the centuries that are Rome spread out in everlasting significance. play of the fountains. Fountains, it seems, in every square, every turn of every street. Fountains and the romance that is Rome, with the backdrop of the Arch of Constantine, or the Colosseum, or the classic quiet of the ancient forum. The Mediterranean world is a festival world. 
Young and old join in the fun, dancing in the streets in gay carnival spirit. Pamplona in Spain combines its festival with the national sport. <laughs> through the narrow streets of the town, and everybody imagines himself a matador. There's rough and tumble free-for-all in the arena before the professionals take over. <laughs> then, all is impressive dignity. Colorful, yet dangerous ceremony. is quick to recognize daring that is real, true skill in the spectacle. In Pamplona, or the famed Plaza de Toros in Madrid, there is gaiety and enjoyment on these bright afternoons. Festival or not, the delight of Spain continues. <laughs> Always, in some sunny courtyard, there are the haunting strains of Spanish music. Spanish dancing is more controlled, more formal than some. Yes, indeed, the rhythms change from place to place, but the spirit, everywhere the same. The lattice of Spanish grillwork leads us into the enchantment of the East. Much of the enchantment, of course, is time immemorial. As of old, the caravans still journey from the desert wastes. As of old, the storytellers still gather an enraptured circle around them to hear legends more remote than the Arabian Nights, the poetry and the tall tales of the ages handed down by word of mouth and gift of speech from generation to generation. Here is theater in the round and in the original. Here likewise is the news of the day, the gossip, the good jokes, the glad tidings. Today's minarets stand amid the beginnings of civilization. Yet cities like Casablanca in Morocco are modern cities. More and more there are modern homes, modern yet with accents ancient in design. The occasion for a celebration calls for lamb in this part of the world. The breaking of bread is a ritual in thanks for the bounty of good food and good friends. To the Arabs, hospitality is not only a way of life, it is a profound business practice. There's always time for the pleasantries, the little courtesies that make life enjoyable. People relax in the bazaar before the strenuous temptations of buying and selling. Time must wait for the convivial talk of the town, even in modern cities like Cairo in Egypt. Minarets and mosques reflect the spiritual strivings of the Muslims in the way that churches and cathedrals and temples do elsewhere in the world. A ride in a felucca up the Nile is a ride up the corridor of history. Sphinx and the pyramids, monuments enduring, 
monuments silent. Guardians, as it were, to the enchantment of the East. Up you go, Junior. And into the tombs of ancient kings. The valley of the Nile bespeaks the dawn of recorded time built indeed for the ages, some of the most ancient relics in the world. Africa is a continent of striking contrasts. upon miles of dense jungle and uncharted felt. The greatest reserve of wild animals in the world, enough to enliven the tall tales of any continent. art forms as the tribal dance. Symbolic animal skins, feathers, amulets, the markings of tribal ritual. Almost within earshot of these resounding drums, there are great modern cities like Johannesburg in South Africa. The National Memorial in Cape Town honors the pioneers who built a new world upon this continent. There are gracious reminders of the customs and traditions of their European heritage. The family outing is a picnic, and there are beaches and coves galore in the full sweep of Cape Town Harbor. Boy meets girl at the point of rocks where the Atlantic Ocean meets the Indian Ocean. India, of course, displays a further fashioning of the fabric of enchantment. Sheer beauty, adorned, is the Taj Mahal. Like the splendor of eastern silks and satins and brocades. Boy meets girl on the wedding day. Won't you join this polite reception? The guests enjoy a lavish spread brightened by all manner of enticing spices. The bride and groom are enthroned on this happy day of days. The British poet, Kipling, wrote that East is East and West is West. Yet the twain do meet in the common desire of governments of free men everywhere. New Delhi symbolizes the new India, striving forward with this ideal for so many different people, of so many different religions and philosophies. At the University of Malaya in Singapore, there is again that spirit of youth universal. Serious, but not too serious. Even the newest leaders of some of the oldest civilizations on Earth can't be too sober about the prospect. There is an intricacy in Eastern craftsmanship that defies the world in its patterns of perfection. Yet it is joyous withal. In Bangkok, there is a positive gaiety in the temples themselves. 
This is Thailand, of course. Also known as the Happy Land, the land of peace. The sound of temple bells tinkling is heard all day and all night. Dancing in Thailand is more controlled, more formal than dancing anywhere else in the world. How different the rhythm, yet how similar the spirit. The night lights in Hong Kong sparkle like jewels. Would you like to eat out for a change? Chinese cuisine is uh, mm, an absolute triumph of the culinary art. Anywhere in the world, a Chinese restaurant teases the palate with tantalizing sweet and sour combinations. Rice is basic, of course, just like chopsticks. Home was never like this. And home for many millions in the Orient is afloat aboard the junks and sampans that jam the harbor of every seaport in the Orient. In Japan, living is a delightful ceremony, entertaining guests and engaging ritual. The Japanese garden brings the outdoors indoors so that nature is a permanent guest in the Japanese home. So polite of people are naturally formal in all the arts. Japanese players are born to the traditions of the Japanese theater. And here they enact a blood and thunder tragedy with the eternal plot of good and evil. The audience we take it is truly moved by the symbolic spectacle. Philippines are known as the Pearl of the Orient, and the capital, Manila, is a thriving and busy metropolis. The Lechon Party is a wonderful expression of hospitality extended, welcomed guests whenever the occasion is something special. Something special indeed is the Tinakling dance. The bamboo symbol of life, demands the nimble of foot as well as head. In Hawaii, it's the hula, of course. is another pioneer country and seven seas away from its European heritage. Christmas here, so far south of the equator, is celebrated in the heat of midsummer, which can mean a trip to see the ever popular koala bears living only in this part of the world and their friends, the lively kangaroos. <laughs> Best of all is a trip to the beach, 
to escape the 90 degree Christmas temperature. From the far islands of the Pacific, in craft no larger than 30 feet with sail, came the legendary inhabitants of the coast of South America. Whether fact or fable, here in Peru, in the narrow valleys of the Andes, rose a civilization that dazzled the Spanish conquistadors. Here in Peru rose the civilization of the Incas. The remains of their architectural achievements still puzzle archaeologists. children play the ancient tunes handed down from memory since when nobody knows it's rugged riding on the pampas of the Argentine especially at roundup time Small wonder polo is the favorite sport here. Small wonder the Argentine has sent forth some of the greatest teams in the world. How the fans do enjoy it. Exciting. Every tense moment of play. Busy Buenos Aires boasts the widest street in the world and exciting structures throughout the modern metropolis. The countries of South America are more pioneer countries and the early settlers endured the hardships of pioneering in much the same way as elsewhere. by tradition in the Europe of Spain and Portugal. Naturally, there are reminders of that tradition in cities like Montevideo in Uruguay. Here, as elsewhere, however, there is the modern accent in architecture. Sao Paulo in Brazil constructs with a passion for modern materials. Copacabana in Rio de Janeiro. Here too, the beaches are crowded on Christmas Day, for this too is land south of the equator. Rio de Janeiro, with its samba rhythm, different from any in all the world. But the spirit, not unlike the carnival spirit of people everywhere. Sugarloaf. In all the world, surely no more inviting and hospitable harbor. In North and South America alike, there are many monuments to Christopher Columbus. But here, on a Caribbean island in the Dominican Republic, is the legendary resting place of the discoverer of this new world. This new world, so strikingly modern in so much of the architecture, wherever you go. The first prize of the Spanish conquistadors was the Pearl of the Antilles, the Cuba of today. Bright, gay, intriguing.
Columbus dreamed of the gold in Mexico, but the discoverer of this new world never reached the fabulous mile-high island in the sky that is Mexico City. Many are the remains of the civilization his followers found there, the civilization of the Aztecs that rivals the Incas of Peru. Here are pyramids rivaling those of ancient Egypt, and likewise, archaeological puzzles. Some of the ceremonial dances of the Aztecs are preserved to this day, rigorously reenacted on special occasions. The basic rhythms echo elsewhere around the world. ancient culture, with its many legends and art symbols, is perpetuated in the works of many modern artists. The new structures on the new campus of the University of Mexico, the oldest university in the Americas, and the new structures along the busy avenues of modern Mexico City, are definitely rooted in the ways of life that make Latins Latin. In the patios, behind the high garden walls, there is gracious living that encompasses all the decorative arts for which Mexico is famous, past and present. Here is hospitality, Latin style, the profusion of good things to enjoy, and in such good taste. You haven't seen anything until you've seen the daring high divers at Acapulco. Defying death in the treacherous Pacific tides. Modern Acapulco, renowned as a resort throughout the world. The Spanish conquistadors stretched their domains as far as San Francisco in California, where the Golden Gates offers an eternal and open-hearted welcome. From the top of the mark, there are magnificent views of the city and its bridges. The hills provide roller coaster excitement. The Golden West was also pioneer country. It is delightfully commemorated today in the old-time streets of Disneyland. But the streets of many of our western cities echo with the pageantry of the past at state fair time. Here is Carnival American Style. Cowboy is tops in excitement in any language. Ride him, Cowboy. Yes, ride him, Cowboy. Easy now. Your trail is beauty beyond words. the dramatic sweep of the Grand Canyon to the quiet majesty of the Canadian Rockies. Here is a wonderland of nature, 
unsurpassed anywhere in the world. The legendary Mounties are the symbol of law and order in this vast domain. And it's the paradise all sportsmen dream about. The aroma of the fresh catch sizzling in the skillet. The campfire cookery of the old and real Wild West. Man alive, this is the life. This indeed is the life. Whether it's canoeing on Lake Louise or sailing on the Great Lakes, a world of adventure is ours for the asking and within easy reach of our great cities. Chicago. St. Louis where the wide Missouri joins the Mississippi. Down the Mississippi in this version of the legendary riverboat. Wherever we go, home is undoubtedly best of all. The family circle with a few friends invited over for a backyard barbecue holds a charm for us like few others in the world. Hospitality is a tradition with us, too. Hospitality and the good things of life. Stemming out from the home of the first family in the land. We the people, yes. We the people all thank our lucky stars for the rights, the privileges, and the responsibilities we enjoy. For the dreams of goodwill reflected in so many places, by so many others, everywhere, in this truly wonderful world.